Prior to 2006, programs were written only on MapReduce using Java programming language. Developers had to mind the map, sort, shuffle, and reduce fundamentals while creating a program for which they needed common operations such as joining, filtering, and so on. The challenges kept building up while maintaining, optimizing, and extending the code. Consequently, the production time increased. Also, data flow in MapReduce was quite rigid, where the output of one task could be used as the input of another. To overcome these issues, PIG was developed in late 2006 by Yahoo researchers. It later became an Apache open source project. PIG is another language, besides Java, in which MapReduce programs can be written. PIG is a scripting platform that runs on Hadoop clusters designed to process and analyze large data sets. PIG is extensible, self-optimizing, and easily programmed. Programmers can use PIG to write data transformations without knowing Java. PIG uses both structured and unstructured data as input to perform analytics and uses HDFS to store the results. Yahoo scientists use grid tools to scan through petabytes of data. Many of them write scripts to test a theory or gain deeper insights. However, in the data factory, data may not be in a standardized state. This makes PIG a good option, as it supports data with partial or unknown schemas and semi or unstructured data. There are two major components of PIG. PIG Latin script language, a runtime engine. The PIG Latin script is a procedural data flow language. It contains syntax and commands that can be applied to implement business logic. Examples of PIG Latin are load and store. The runtime engine is a compiler that produces sequences of MapReduce programs. It uses HDFS to store and retrieve data. It is also used to interact with the Hadoop system, HDFS, and MapReduce. The runtime engine parses, validates, and compiles the script operations into a sequence of MapReduce job. PIG's operation can be explained in three stages. In the first stage, the data is loaded and a PIG script is written. In the second stage, the PIG execution engine parses and checks the script. If it passes, the script is optimized and a logical and physical plan is generated for execution. The job is submitted to Hadoop as a job comprising of map and reduce tasks. PIG monitors the status of jobs using Hadoop API and reports the status to its client. In the execution stage, the results are dumped onto the screen or are stored in HDFS, depending on the user command. Developer and analysts like to use PIG as it offers many features. Some of the features are as follows. Provision for step-by-step -step procedural control and the ability to operate directly over files. Schemas that, though optional, can be assigned dynamically. Support to user-defined functions, or UDFs, and to various data types. As part of its data model, PIG supports four basic types. The first is atom, which is a simple atomic value like integer, long, double, or string. The second is tuple, which is a sequence of fields that can be of any data type. The third is bag, which is a collection of tuples of potentially varying structures and can contain duplicates. Finally, there is map, which is an associative array. The key must be a character array but the value can be of any type. By default, PIG treats undeclared fields as byte arrays, which are collections of uninterpreted bytes. PIG can infer a field's type based on the use of operators that explain a certain type of field. It can also use user-defined functions, or UDFs, with a known or explicitly set return type. Furthermore, it can infer the field type based on schema information provided by a load function or explicitly, or explicitly declared using an, as clause. using an AS clause. Please note that type conversion is lazy, which means the data type is enforced at the point of execution only. Pig Latin has a fully nestable data model with atomic values, tuples, bags, or lists, and maps. 
This implies one data type can be nested within another, as shown in the image. The advantage is that this is far more natural to programmers than flat tuples. Also, it avoids expensive joins. Pig works in two execution modes, local and MapReduce. In the local mode, the Pig engine takes input from the Linux file system, and the output is stored in the same file system. In MapReduce mode, the Pig engine directly interacts and executes in HDFS and MapReduce. The two modes in which a Pig Latin program can be written are interactive and batch. Interactive mode means coding and executing the script line by line as shown in the image. In batch mode, all scripts are coded in a file with the extension .pig and the file is directly executed. Since we have already learned about Hive and Impala, which work on SQL, let's now see how Pig is different from SQL. The first difference between Pig and SQL is that Pig is a scripting language used to interact with HDFS. SQL is a query language used to interact with databases residing in the database engine. In terms of query style, Pig offers a step-by-step -step execution style compared to the single block execution style of SQL. Pig does a lazy evaluation, which means that data is processed only when the store or dump command is encountered. Also, SQL offers immediate evaluation of a query. Pipeline splits are supported in Pig. However, in SQL, you may need to run the join command twice for the result to be materialized as an intermediate result. Now that we've gone through the differences between pig and SQL, let us now understand further with an example. The illustration given is an example to help you understand the SQL command and its pig equivalent command script. The SQL command focuses on the customer table with columns CID and C total, which is the sum of the amounts. It joins the sales table with reference to CID, where the C city is Texas. The grouping of CID is performed by ensuring the sum of the amounts is greater than the 2000 ordered in descending order. Now examine the same function using pig. In pig, you create two entities, customer and sales, where you load equivalent data with the schema. You filter the customers based on location, for example, Texas. Both data are joined using the CID row. The sum of the amounts of the individual CIDs is calculated. Now, isolate those customers who spend more than $2,000. Later, sort the customers in descending order. Now let's look at how to load and store data in the pig engine using the command console. Loading refers to loading relations from the files in the pig buffer. This is done using the keyword load, followed by the name of the variable for which data is to be loaded. A series of transformation statements processes the data. Storing refers to writing output to the file system. This is done using the keyword store, followed by the name of the variable whose data is to be stored, along with the location of storage. You can use the keyword dump to display the output on the screen. Pig processes Pig Latin statements in the following manner. First, Pig validates the syntax and the semantics of all statements. Second, it type checks with schema. Third, it verifies references. Pig performs limited optimization before execution. Fourth. If pig encounters a dump or store, it will execute the statements. A pig Latin script execution plan consists of logical, optimized logical, physical, and MapReduce plan. Now we will learn some of the relations Big Data and Hadoop developers execute. Filtering, transforming, grouping, sorting, combining, splitting. Filtering refers to filtering of data based on a conditional clause, such as grade and pay. Transforming refers to making data presentable to extract and logical data. Grouping refers to generating a group of meaningful data. Sorting refers to arranging the data in ascending or descending order. Combining refers to performing a union operation of data stored in the variable. Splitting 
refers to separating the data with a logical meaning. On the screen are some pig commands, which are frequently used by analysts. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.